What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. On this episode of The Dig, we wanted to share some of our insights around fungicide application methods. I'm Aaron. This is Colin. Let's dig in. We've done a lot of research around fungicide and making those applications more effective and profitable as possible. We've also shared a lot of PFR proven recommendations around products, timings, and additives. Over the last few years, we've tested something new, how to apply fungicides by comparing ground and aerial applications. As fungicide use has increased, how to apply it has been one of the top questions that we get from farmers. Unfortunately, this is a question that we can't answer using our typical PFR plots. It's kind of hard to get an airplane to fly over just a 300 foot long strip and four different spots across the field. So we've taken this research to a larger field scale setting by partnering with local farmers to conduct trials as on-farm PFR studies. Our two-year multi-location data comparing fungicide applications on corn at that R1 growth stage shows a slight advantage of the airplane application. However, we need to point out that this data has been mixed over the last two years of testing, as most of this research has come from central Illinois, which has been drier and experienced lower disease pressures in 2022 and 2023. In 2023, we were able to add a drone application into the on-farm fungicide application trials at two of the locations. And it was pretty interesting to see that the drone did have a slight advantage over both the ground rig and the airplane applications. Now, it's important to note that this is only one year's worth of data that came from a growing season with, again, lower disease pressure, but it was interesting to see the drone have that slight edge over the ground applications. We saw the same advantage with the drone application in our ground versus drone study at our PFR farms on both corn and soybeans. In the corn plots, we saw a 3.4 bushel advantage to the drone application over the ground machine, in soybeans, we saw an increase of 1.8 bushel with the drone. These studies were replicated at four of our PFR locations with drones applying that two gallon an acre rate and the ground rig spraying at that 20 gallon an acre carrier. I was definitely surprised to see the drone come out on top in this head to head comparison, mainly because we've always been told that carrier rate is key when it comes to making fungicide applications. Here's a picture of the water sensitivity cards that we put out in the plots at ear leaf height before we made the applications. As you can see, the cards from the ground application have more coverage compared to the drone application. Some people think, me being one of them, there might be something to do with having a higher fungicide concentration found in the fewer droplets from the drone, and therefore it might be a little bit more effective and be the reason why it has a slight advantage. And again, I think it's a pretty valid argument. Now between the downdraft and the drone's ability to maintain a consistent distance from the top of that crop canopy, that might have something to do with it too. The drones really get that crop just moving and whipping around when applying. <laughs> oh brother, this guy stinks! As a result of some of these new questions and theories we now have around coverage with fungicide applications, we're implementing a new drone carrier rate study for 2024. In this study, we're looking at applying fungicide with a one, two, and three gallon an acre water carrier. Based on this first year of data, drones do appear to be an effective fungicide application option and something farmers should consider, especially if it's hard to coordinate and be timely with a plane or a ground machine in your area. We're gonna to continue to test these fungicide application methods this summer in multiple locations to help build a robust multi-year data set. All these application methods that have been talked about today are effective. And however you decide to apply fungicide, make sure you are hitting the right timing. As a quick reminder, our PFR proven timing on corn is that BT R1 growth stage and R3 on soybeans. Well, I think that about wraps it up for this episode of The Dig. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon down there so you get notifications when future videos come out. Also, any links to studies that we covered today can be found in the description as well. Now, as always, we'll see you guys again on the next episode of The Dig. I feel like I'm in court. <laughs> you said. You said. <laughs> you the record show you said. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, so the Occam's Damn! <laughs>